So two days ago it was beautiful and sunny and warm. Yesterday we were getting eight inches of snow. Today, beautiful again. Almost all the snow is gone. February weather, people. Gotta use that free chicken food. If you didn't watch the Dentisi's video from yesterday, make sure you check it out. Waiting for me. So they still haven't figured out that the tomatoes are edible, I don't think. Oh well. They'll figure it out in a minute. I bet by the time I come home, all of these will be gone. It's a very exciting day for me, so let's get it started. First meeting of the day here at Bradigan's. I'm late. Meetings at Bradigan's are the best, you know? Coffee and donuts. You just can't go wrong on a Friday morning. It's just absolute perfection out today. For a February day, you cannot do any better than this. Gotta do some drone flying today. Not yet though, not yet. Hi Tina, it's been too long since you've been in the vlog. Marissa's in the house too. Hey, what's up? <laughs> A couple hours of work of, you know, things just not interesting for the vlog, so. But I uh, got a couple errands to run, and then, uh, you know, something new in my life. I was thinking, man, I'm gonna get hit by a car on the vlog someday, and that's, it's just gonna make a really great video. <laughs> running, running, running. Tyler's at Two Short Gals. Haven't seen you in a long time, Tyler. Good to see you. <laughs> Check. Killing it productivity wise today. Going real good. It's a special guest on the vlog today. What's up? <coughs> Crazy's in the back, huh? Excited to see me? Joey's not excited though, huh? Joey. Hi. Get my new car finally. So be honest, how many of y'all thought I bought the truck? Now, nah, let me show you what I really got. <laughs> I really would 
prefer the truck, but you know, practical reality, four children, you gotta have the seven seats. We now are addicted to the DVD player, so you know, practicality wins out. Someday maybe I'll get my full-size pickup truck. But I'm perfectly happy with my little Chevy truck, and uh, hopefully I'll be very happy with this Buick. Excited to drive it. Drives like a dream. A little harder not to speed than the Suzuki, uh, but you know, <laughs> takes some getting used to. So far, back to work. It's nice to have another car back. Uh, it's kind of a lot of the puzzle pieces coming back together now uh, since Joey was very ill and in the hospital and then my car got hit by uh, that person in Lawrenceville. It was, uh, it's just been an interesting time in life. And it's not that I don't love driving the truck. I love driving, the truck is my favorite car to drive. Uh, however, it's uh, two wheel drive and in the snow it is, it's horrible. So it's nice to have another all-wheel drive vehicle in the family again. Very, very thankful and blessed to be able to go pick that up today. So speaking of Joanna and all the pieces kind of coming back together, uh, I want to give you a quick update on her. I know many of you have been asking about her and um, I know many of you have been praying for her as well. I cannot thank you enough for that. Uh, so let me go home and give you a little update on what's going on with her. I just realizing I forgot to fly the drone, you guys. I'm sorry. Next week, next week the drone will fly again. Probably the cleanest this car will ever be. First game night. Got a wild Friday night going on here. Girls all over the place. A little Candyland action. Are you ready? So there have been so many people praying for Joey that I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick update. If you're uh, not familiar with what's been happening, there'll be a pop-up. I don't know. It'll come up on one of these two sides if you want to uh, go back and watch some of those videos. The diagnosis for her was type 1 diabetes. So uh, those of you that have been following the journey, I so appreciate your prayers. I just wanted to give you uh, some really great news. So type 1 diabetes has... Uh, couple different components to it. Uh, basically, you have two different types of insulin. There's a long-term insulin, which is made to like kind of last all day and keep things very steady. And then you have a short-term insulin. So when you eat food, every carbohydrate that you take in raises your blood sugar. So uh, you eat carbohydrates and then you take insulin to kind of match up those carbohydrates and bring it back down. And so Joanna has been doing that six times a day, basically. She'll have her uh, long-term shot and then five different short-term shots throughout the day. What's been really amazing is about three days ago um, after breakfast, uh, Joanna's sugar just kind of miraculously has been on the low end of perfect. What's so amazing about that is she has not needed a short-term insulin shot over the last three days, zero. So she's gone from five or six shots a day down to one. That's been a game changer for her and for us. And so we are just praising God uh, for answered prayer on that front. Um, now, there are some different things with type 1 diabetes called the honeymoon phase and different kinds of things like that that you can go read about and research. So we're not sure 100% what's going on, but uh, all the glory goes to God. And we are just uh, very excited about what's going on in her life. So thank you for all your prayers. She is doing uh, remarkably well. If you wouldn't mind, uh, keep praying for total and complete healing with us. And uh, we're just going to praise God as he continues to work in her life and in our lives. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, put your comments down below and of course subscribe if you haven't yet. That's it for this one. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.